Again, we will start off by making a magic ring. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, insert your hook, pull up a loop, chain one, make sure that your tail is hanging on this side, and then you're going to make eight single crochet in this ring. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now that I have my eight, I'm just going to pull on the string to close that hole up. And then I'm going to find that first stitch, which is here, and I am going to make a slip stitch. Now that I make my slip stitch, I'm going to chain one. Into that same stitch, I am going to make two um, single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through. Insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through and you're going to continue doing that you should have a total of 16 single crochet at the end of round two so continue doing that and I'll see you there so now I have come to the end of row two and I have my total of 16 single crochet make sure you check yours to see that you have your 16 now you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch chain one into that same stitch we're gonna put two single crochet one and two into the next stitch we are going to put one single crochet into the next we're gonna put two single crochet so the sequence for row three is two single crochet in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next continue that same sequence and I will see you at the end of row three. You should have a total of 24. So now we have come to the end. This is what it looks like. So now moving on to row four, we're gonna slip stitch again. Into that same stitch, chain one into that same stitch, you're gonna make two single crochet so that's one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch again and then two single crochet in the next so the sequence for row four is two single crochet in the same stitch and then one one single crochet in separate stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch you're going to repeat that same sequence right around and you should have a total of 32 single crochet at the end of row four so continue doing that and i will see you there So now I have come to the end of row four. This is what it looks like so far. Now moving on to row five, we're gonna make a slip stitch. Chain one into that same stitch. We're gonna make two single crochet. So that's one and two. Into the next three stitches, we are going to make one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet and in the fourth one we are going to make two single crochet in that stitch so the sequence for this round is two single crochet in the first stitch then one single crochet in the separate one one single crochet in a separate stitch and another separate single crochet so in the in separate stitches and then two in the next continue that same sequence you should have a total of 40 single crochet at the end of row five so that's my two and three now i'm gonna make two in the next stitch one and two and then one 
one and one to win the next stitch one and two continue doing that same sequence and I see you at the I will see you at the end of row five so now I have come to the end of row five this is what it looks like and this um, now completes the circumference of the um, the bag so this is going to be the bottom now moving on to row six we're going to make a slip stitch and chain one and from row six to 14 you will only do one single crochet in each stitches around so whenever you get to your last stitch here you will make a slip stitch and then chain one into that same stitch you will make a single crochet so that's my first my second remember you're only doing one single crochet in each stitch around you will notice that the the bottom part of the bag will start looking like a cup shape like So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row 14 and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to the end of row 14 and this is what it looks like so far. So now moving on to row 15, we're going to make a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You're going to skip 2, 1, 2, and into the third one here, we are going to make a single crochet chain five again one two three four five skip two one two in a third we're gonna make a single crochet and you're gonna continue doing that right around until you reach to the end and I'll show you what to do next so that's one two three four and five slip stitch sorry um, single crochet in the third one two and three so I'll see you there So now we have come to the end of row 15 and we have three stitches remaining. So to finish this row, we're going to chain two, yarn over, and we're going to make a double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Now we have um, our work into the center here of our loop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert your hook pull up a loop and make a single crochet then we're gonna chain five one two three four and five insert your hook make another single crochet chain five one two three four five insert your hook make a single crochet chain five one two three four and five and you're going to continue doing that right around until you get to the end and then I'll show you what to do next. Five. So now I have come to my last stitch here. I'm going to make my single crochet, chain two. So every time when you're finishing a row, you will chain two, yarn over and make a double crochet to finish off that row. And that completes that stitch then you're going to go under and make a single crochet and then chain five and repeat the same thing over please feel free to rewind the video if you don't remember what to do one two three four and five and you're gonna do that up to until you get to the height of seven inches with without stretching um, these loops and then I will meet you back up once I'm at my seven inches long then I will see you back there and I'll show you what to do next so continue doing that 
making your single crochet in each loop chaining your five once you get to the end remember to once you get to um here you will chain two and make a double crochet here to complete that last loop so i'll see you there net part of the bag and i'm just going to use my measuring tape to just to show you so from the bottom to the top here is measuring seven inches long so that is a good height and now what we're going to do uh to finish off we are going to um make our last stitch here And instead of chaining two, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and make a slip stitch here and fasten off. So I'm just going to cut that. And we can weave in our tail. I'm just going to go underneath these stitches to weave in the tail. Okay, and then I will cut my excess off. So that is done. So now we're going to work on the strings of the bag. So to make the strings of the bag, we are going to do a slip knot. So insert your hook like this and wrap it around. So I'm using two strands. If you want to use yours as just a regular chains, uh, you can do that and just chain um, 30. But I will be making... Um, like a rope effect kind of thing I like I well I always like to do this one so it's just basically um, single crochet that you'll be doing all you have to do is just insert your hook pull on the other the other one and pull through yarn over and pull through And continue doing that and I'll see you at the end I will be doing um, 30 of 30 to 30 well, about 35 so I'll be doing 35 of these and I'll see you at the end so I have come to the end of making my straps and I have both straps here and both are measuring the same and uh, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and I am gonna weave them in so I'm just going to go from here, so I'm going to go under, and pull it through on the other side. I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go from the same side here into that same part where this loop is coming from. And I am just going to leave this one here because I would not be able to pull it through here. So I'm going to leave this one right here. And this is what it looks like so far. So now we are going to attach 
over beads. I'm gonna do so by um, using my darning needle. I'm just gonna get another one. pull through with that one. and pull through with that one as well. Making sure that both of them are even. And then I am gonna give it a tie. And another tie. I'm gonna tug down on that. And just use my scissors to cut this part off here. You can leave it with a little bit of fringe there or you can cut it all off. So I'm going to go ahead and do these ones and I'll see you back. So this is what our bag looked like so far. You can go ahead and just tug on the strings and you will see how it is closed but what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, attach the flower right here so this is my flower here so if you want to make one just like this, you can go ahead and watch my video that I will be adding that um, link to this uh, video here so you can know how to make one of these. And I'm just going to sew that on to here. This part is optional, you don't have to add a little flower, but if you want it to look uh, more nice, you can add the flower to it. You can even buy a bottle of wine and you can use that as a gift with also with this flower. Like it looks like a little bow, instead of a bow you have a flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my off, make a tie. And there it is. And you will see the reason why I actually um, install the rose on this end here inside of the loop so that is the end of making the bag so I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that it was beneficial to you uh, thank you guys for watching again until next time bye so guys this is just how you put your wine into your bag you just insert the wine like this
you're going to put this loop over here and you're going to take this one pull it over the flower and this one is going to go behind and this one goes over to the front of the flower so this one go like this and there it is <laughs>